Sam and Science Friday, week four. You like my little song? Thanks. Back for more observations, I see. All right, let's do this. So, as always, you've got your data sheet you can use, dry erase board, notebook, memory, talk to your friends about it. We just want you to keep in practice doing your observations, recording them, keeping them as memories. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna dive right in, take a look at our fish. I'm gonna do exactly what I did last week. We'll take a nice look all around the tank. Um, I'm gonna want you to focus on a couple uh, or a new challenge for this week for observations. So what I want you to do for the write-in part of your observations is I want you to tell me about something that you observed that you remember observing the first time you saw our salmon that now looks or is completely different. So think about then versus now, way back in the past versus today. What has What is something that you've observed that has changed a lot? It's been a month at least that we've been doing Salmon Science Friday. Our fish have been in the tank now for quite a while since December. So try to think back as far as you can and tell me in that write-in spot what it is that you think has changed the most. And then for the drawing part, we're gonna do a salmon spot. So remember, you can always pause that video and take a good look at your favorite place that you wanna observe every week. So just making that little drawing snapshot um, and, and seeing how things will be different every week is gonna be the name of the game today. So let's dive in. Welcome back, you dry off. Now we're gonna talk salmon science. It's Friday, they say. So the first question that I'm gonna ask, remember I told you all I'm using the questions and the feedback that you all give me in the flip grids and the online form on our Salmon Science Friday webpage. And so this week I'm gonna be answering, I think two or three questions that are coming from students in Wenatchee. And the first one I'm gonna talk about right now is Dakota at Sunny Slope Elementary, why the salmon are digging into the rocks in the tank. And this is a great question because I think, like I said last week, it's hard to tell if there's fish in our tank sometimes when you're looking at the live webcam, because they are all in the gravel, they're dug in, they're, they're actually protecting themselves. So their, their instincts, their wild instincts at this part of their life is telling them to stay undercover, stay safe. Normally they would be covered up in the salmon nest or the red. Um, they would maybe start thinking about poking their heads out, but our, our salmon right now are digging in because it's just kind of a scary new world. So they're just trying to stay calm, grow and develop and be safe. So thanks Dakota, good question. Question two. So Amelia at Washington Elementary wants to know, how long does it take for a whole school of salmon to grow up and be an adult? So it's actually a pretty interesting question because it will depend on what kind of salmon. So I'll talk about our salmon, coho salmon, um, and how long it takes them to grow up to become an adult. So we're, we're observing them now in the early stages. In the wild, they will live as little tiny baby salmon in rivers for about a year or so before they go to the estuary, where they become smolts, and then before they go to the ocean. 
out in the ocean, coho salmon will live out there for about a year and a half or more as well. Um, and probably about the time that they're going to be heading back to spawn, most coho salmon are about three or four years old. So it takes about three or four years for uh, all these salmon to grow up to become an adult. Great job, Amelia. Question three. So, uh, Kira at back at Sunny Slope Elementary, she asked a real fun, quick one that I actually was really excited to answer this week because it gives you a little bit more work to do. Uh, her question is, is do we get to name our salmon? And the answer is yes. I am going to, over the next couple weeks, I'm going to try to figure out a way for me to keep a list and I'm going to start getting these names coming in from students. And so if you've got a favorite salmon or a favorite salmon name, um, keep it in your mind for now. Write it in your observation page. Soon enough, I'll be I'll start a list. Maybe if you if you want to send me your answer in the Flipgrid or in the messages, we can start taking those answers now and I'll figure out a cool way to show them. So on that note, also remember that on the page for Salmon Science Friday, I created a little student Flipgrid gallery so you can click on the student gallery and you can see screenshots of all of our friends so far. I've had a lot of Flipgrids come in talking about their observations and uh, asking questions and stuff. So I wanted to be able to talk back to the students. Um, I'm not able to use Flipgrid to send you a message. So what I'm doing is taking a screenshot and I'm going to type a response on the website. So if you don't see a response on Flipgrid, look at the Salmon um, Science Friday website in that student gallery and you'll see that I'm writing back to all of you. Um, I really appreciate it. It's the best part of my week is watching your flip grids and getting those online uh, questions in the message box. So thank you all and uh, I will see you next week.